stuff. Wait a minute, it says Puppy Town. Why wouldn't it do well with the dog? It's, uh, it's Chuck Smith. I don't know why they call it Puppy Chow. I think it just looks like it. It's what? It just looks like Puppy Chow, but it... Oh, so it isn't... I can't buy... Really. No. I got what a brilliant idea. Treat to the dog. It would never use the... Thank God I didn't buy it. It would give her dog diarrhea and she was yeah. handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> the day worker would hate me for it. Okay. Thanks for the warning. But well, what a wonderful, what a wonderful thing to make, you know, all these, all these, you know, because let's face it, this is what our country loves, white chocolate chip brownies, two dollars, chip cookies a dollar fifty. And you know, really there's no reason that people that see I I don't, I don't believe in sugar, and I'm, I was 217 pounds as a child. I have an eating disorder, not otherwise classified. I have nothing in the house that I can't resist. So I live on nothing but fruits and vegetables and, and fish. And I'm 79 years old. I'm 78 years old, and I'm in perfect health, except prostate, and large prostate, which is under control. So they say the, as you get older, the more you're... Meals consist of fruits and vegetables. No matter what age you start, the longer you live. So I'm telling you, I know you're out here selling this deadly food. And I'm not holding it against you because if it's not you to change the eating habits of the world. You're here to raise money for UNICEF. But for your own sake, eat vegetables and fruit and fish. Avoid salt, avoid sugar. Don't eat sugary drinks, including Gatorade. I have net zero, which is zero calorie. Same thing as Gatorade. I tell you about, there is such a thing as called Wilshire Farms calorie-free chocolate. It's $3.79 a jar. I eat, I eat Kotsu about five or six jars of that a week because I take a cup of coffee and pour one third of the $3.79 bottle chocolate in there. And every morning, I have hot chocolate with three tablespoons of coffee, and it's what gets me up and kicks my butt and gets me out of the house. That's so that's my that's my my recommendation on that. Thank you very much. Of course. Thank you. You, don't, you mind if I put this on the internet on YouTube? No, go ahead. Okay. You you don't have to. You want to tell me your name or anything? Enrique. But Enrique. Enrique. And you are you a a volunteer for UNICEF? No, I'm a law student, so we're going to send them the money. Oh, so you're, you're law students that are working for the benefit of UNICEF? Unpaid, I assume. Yeah, unpaid. Oh, that's great, because I'm with Planned Parenthood, so all these people out asking for money. I said, are you paid or unpaid? She said, we're paid. I said, how much? And she said, depends on how much money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they the, work, the they work on commission. Yeah. So I told her, I said, you know what? I don't believe in giving the organizations, but I said, I believe in supporting activists. I said, you don't make much working for a nonprofit. I said, here's $20, but it's for you, not for the organization. That's great. Because some organizations, you know, too many dollars. I mean, what, how much, they, billions of dollars went to Haiti and none of it got to the people? Right. And really, I mean, that doesn't mean I'm against UNICEF, you know. Right. But.